If there's one idea that gets me into a game more than any other, then it's gotta be the idea of exploration. I love the promise of possibility. Exploring every nook and cranny on the board, never knowing what you're gonna find or what's gonna be around the next corner. Now the best exploration games give you a huge board to explore and leave a large footprint on the table. And one of my favorite games that does this is Islebound. Islebound is a nautically themed exploration and area control game by Ryan Lockett and Red Raven Games. It gives players a beautiful board filled with islands to explore. On this board, you will find villages with peasants that need help, sea monsters and pirates to tame and hire, treasure to loot, and townships that are ripe for the taking by force or diplomacy. Each player has a crew at their disposal. These crew members can aid in any of these tasks. An administrator will help complete tasks and let you stop on a space with another player. These dice crew members will allow you to add a die to an attack. A crew member with this symbol lets you gain influence through negotiation. And these crew members allow you to sail farther distances. As you set out to explore the world of Islebound, you'll notice that each island is different and gives you options as to what you can do. To visit an island, players must first pay a tax to enter. Players then can perform that island's task. Don't feel like visiting? Well, then you can take over the island by two different ways, by force through combat and through diplomacy. If you want to take an island by force, you need to have enough pirates and sea monsters to do your bidding. You can just make those people walk the plank if you want. If you want to take a more peaceful approach, however, you can pay influence from the influence track to take control. If you control an island, then the tasks that can be performed there can be done so for free. Score is measured by how much renown a player has. Players can brag about their accomplishments using these reputation cards. Once you hit 7 renown on the renown track, you get a special token that adds to your score at the end of the game. Renown can also be gained by purchasing buildings and adding them to your town. These buildings will give you a special ability as well as you explore the islands. A player that builds a certain number of buildings depending on player count triggers the end of the game and the player with the most renown at this point wins. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at a game that leaves a large footprint on your table but gives you so much to explore. We'll see you next time. Take to the sea. <laughs>